Should I get tested? Should I not get tested? And this is pretty much for my CNAs because you have that option. But I have a feeling that's going to be taken away soon. Come back, let's talk about it. <laughs>um, I do get asked by, because again, I have different students come through my class and some are like, I don't know if I should get tested, uh, tested, not for COVID. We're talking CNA. Okay. Getting state tested. I don't know if I should, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, what's the point? Um, and, um, so there's, I'm just going to give you clarity. Um, for my nurses, well, you don't have an option. You have to do your NCLEX. So eventually I think in the near future, probably sooner than we think, um, wow. That was a Eureka moment right there. I didn't even think of it. I just thought of it now. The NCLEX, because nurses don't have a choice. You must go through that board. Okay, whether you're LPN, LVN, RN, you're going to get NCLEX, okay? You're gonna get that standardized testing that we all sweat about. And for those of us who've passed through it, whew, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> However, as a CNA, you do have an option for now. But you know what, that might change. If you're gonna be working in the nursing home, long-term care facilities, you will need to be state tested, okay? Especially in the state that I teach in. You will need to get state tested. I actually give you like four months. And after that, you have to go and try and get your state test done. However, if you're working outside the nursing home, you're working in a doctor's office, you're working in the hospital, you're working in, you know, different standalone surgery centers and healthcare um, centers, you don't need to, okay? Even when you're doing home health, no, you don't need to. However, it might change. I tell my students, why don't you go ahead? What have you got to lose? Even if you're going to be going into nursing school, your pre-PA or your pre-med, I tell them, if you're gonna be working as a CNA, why don't you go ahead and get tested anyway and get better pay? because, and I've talked about this before, I actually have, I think I have uh, maybe two or three or four videos about this, okay? Um, and if I remember, I'll paste it up. But if not, please search in my library of videos and you will see this. Why should you get state tested? What Number one thing is you rise to the top. You rise to the top, okay? Meaning your pay is gonna go up. Um, your status is gonna go up, okay? Um, and um, you also feel good about yourself. So um, that's, the, that's the basic thing, really. You get better pay. This work is hard, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't lie, what's the point of lying? Okay, I don't even have enough light. Do I have enough light, is it too much? It's throwing shadows on me though, but is this better? I don't even know at this time, it's whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just trying to light and uh, yeah, yeah, you have shadows everywhere. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, that is, it's good for you to get state tested. You're not only certified, meaning you're not, certification means you've been through training, you've been through school and you have skills. So it's good to be certified. It's very good, but why stop there? If the state is offering to give you a stamp of approval that's what the state is doing and offering to do at this time when you have a choice because i think a time is going to come it's just going to be like the end class for nurses you will just have to um have that state but i tell i tell people go ahead get state tested go ahead yes yeah, so you can make my money and sometimes the increase is as much as especially since post covid as much as five dollars you know, so let's say, for instance, again, I'm just paraphrasing here or just putting things in perspective. Say, for instance, that you're earning as a certified nursing assistant, a CNA or a nursing aide, you, you earn $10. When you become state certified, state, state approved, you know, whatever state you leave it, you can earn as much as $5 more, $15. Now that's a hike, that's a jump. 
why not do it? Okay, um, I tell my students, those even going beyond CNA, which I always encourage people to do, it doesn't matter if you're 75 years old, I tell people it doesn't matter, it's not about age, okay? It's all about self-actualization. If you think that you can do it and you want to do it, it's your dream, you want to get better and end more, I tell people, I push, I really literally, <laughs> literally push my patient, my, I keep saying patients, no, my students. So that is the difference, you know, when you're state approved, it means that yes, we this we have tested this candidate and we've put this candidate through the fire and they've come out successful. So we trust them with their duties, we trust them with the patients, we trust them that they will bring added value to the facility or anywhere they work. So that is the value there in getting state tested as opposed to just being certified. Of course, being certified, being through a school and getting trained and having skills is better than you just not even being through school or any kind of trade. okay? Um, invest in yourself, get certified. That's what happens when you go through like my own CNA school. And after doing that, um, you know, the CNA program, you're certified. And then when you get state, um, tested, you become state approved. I mean, yes, you cannot be messed with. First of all, your money cannot be messed with. You, I mean, come on, you you are state approved. Woo! Now that's something. You are the next in line to being a skilled nurse. So hopefully you've gotten some value from this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Please hit the notification bell if you haven't done so. And if you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free, girl boy you know it's free go ahead hit that notification bell and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video